Hello and welcome to ColoradoTriathlete.com. We're here today with Michael and Amanda Lovato, who have just won the Subaru Ironman 70.3 Muskoka race in Canada. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So it's not the first time husband and wife teams have won together at a race, but it is nonetheless very special. How did you guys like that? It's pretty cool. I don't know. Yeah, we like. I think it was really cool. And, you know, the, that's true. Other couples have won, but if you scroll through the history books, you'll see that we're obviously the coolest couple to have done it. Um, just an observation. But no, it was really cool. I could I could say from my end, just coming across, I knew she was in the, about to be in the lead when I saw her. So I finished. I knew she was very likely going to win the race. And standing there, anticipating it and waiting was just really cool. I saw her coming by, and and the 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 crew just made such a big fuss about it that. You know, it just kind of got me jazzed up, and and so yeah, it was really special to to be there waiting for her as the winner for the winner. You know, and I think it's really cool to share a victory with your partner. It's one thing to win, and maybe your partner gets second, third, fourth, but um, it's really cool to go to dinner that night and know that you both were victorious and and both had great races, and that you're taking home the big bucks. <laughs> So when you were racing, um, did you find out towards the end of the race that he had already won? Well, you know, when I saw him, I think I was possibly at 5K or 6K of the run, and he was at maybe 12 or 13K, and he had just made the pass, so he wasn't that far ahead of, ahead of the next guy. You know, I was kind of focusing on myself at that point, <laughs> um, but I was hoping that he would win. You know, I looked at his competition behind him, and I didn't think that many of those guys could run with him. You know, so I was hopeful. So you have raced many times together at the same race, but you haven't been doing that as much in the last couple of years. Um, any reason why? Yeah, I, I think mostly because um, back in 06 and 07, we did a couple Ironmans together, and it was horrible. We were... An Ironman is completely different than any other race and you know during the, uh, the an Ironman you have to focus on yourself a lot of times and what you're going through and it was really hard there were times when Michael would have would be having a great race but he wasn't focusing on himself he was thinking of me and you know sometimes I was having a really horrible race and my horrible race would affect Michael's good race and it would affect his mental ability to keep on pushing through so after a couple of races like that we just decided it was too hard to race together because it's so important to focus on yourself and focus on the task at hand instead of worrying about your partner. When you said, I think that's accurate. And then you know the only kind of change this year we've we've targeted a couple of races that we both want to travel to. This one in particular fit our schedules exactly. You know, perfect for her, perfect for me. But we, you know, I had the cho choice of racing Boulder, and she had the choice of racing Steelhead. They were a week apart, but we we chose to to go separately, so I could be there on the sidelines, you know, doing everything for her without worrying about what, you know, what I needed to do. So yeah, it's quite nice to have, have it, you know, be separate. But I, I will say this this experience was quite nice traveling to a foreign country and getting to be on course together and, and then sharing the victory. It was absolutely worth it, hundred percent. Michael, you came off the bike. Uh in this race quite a bit back, maybe six minutes or so. Um, what were you feeling when you went through T2? Well, you know what, I was pretty motivated because I, I've had a lot of confidence in my training lately. I've been actually you know, feeling really good on the on the bike and run, so I was a little disenchanted that I got beat so bad. He really ripped me up on the bike. I mean, the guy put six minutes, well, four and a half or so because he beat me out of the water by a chunk, but it was, it's motivating because I like the, I like the, I like to chase. I'm not, I'm not as familiar with the run from the front plan. Uh, a couple times in my career I've done that, but so it, it just, you know what, it was a great challenge. I was fired up. I ran absolutely flat out for what ended up being 12K where I caught him, um, and then, you know, it was it was kind of cool, actually, and I had people screaming for me, you know, they didn't know what I was going to do, but one fellow in particular said, ah, oh, you can catch him, you know, he's, he's not that strong on the run, so it was pretty cool, actually. And Amanda, you were down a little bit in T2 also, but you passed back and forth with um, Jennifer Tetrick a couple times on the bike? No, you know, she caught me about an hour 20 on the bike, and I and then I dropped back 10 meters, and then I would pass her back, and I don't know if she just didn't understand the rules. <laughs> I think she might have thought it was USAT rules and then stagger rule, but she would pass me immediately back, and 
after a couple times of going back and forth like that, I just got fed up. And I just dropped back 10 meters and sat with her for the next, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then um, with about 10K to go, I just sort of relaxed down a hill and went to the bathroom. And I don't know how it happened, but she put two minutes on me in 10K. And I don't know. I, I, I mean, I was riding really well. Probably one of the best latter halves of the ride that I've ever had. But... I don't know, maybe she was just saving it up for that last 10K, I'm not sure. But, yeah, I came into transition, I felt really good, and like Michael, the crowds were going crazy and going wild, and I got a split, and um, I didn't think it was going to be that hard. You know, I, I, I don't usually come Confidence. off the bike, I don't usually come off the bike first anyway. You know, I just put my head down and went to work, and I caught her at 5 or 6K of the run. You've won a few half Ironmans in your career, including last year's uh, 7.3 in Pucon, Chile. Mm -hmm. Is half your favorite distance? I don't know. I, I like the Olympic distance a lot. It's two hours of sheer pain. That's really fun. But, you know, I wish I could swim a little bit faster so I could be more competitive. Um, the halves um, enabled me to be more competitive with my slower swim. Um, I'd like to get back to Ironman racing maybe next year. Um, just to see how that goes. But for now, this is what I'm doing. Michael, uh, you've had a few podium finishes at halves this year. How did the win feel going into Kona? Well, the win always feels good any time of year, but it's certainly <laughs> nice uh, to have that on the kind of the last taste, I guess, in my mouth going into Kona. It's great. So, you know, one thing that was pointed out by someone else is that you know, Craig Alexander won the race Lisa, the last Lisa three Lisa years. At least yeah, Bentley pointed it out. So he won three years in a row, and then he's obviously been on the podium each of those three years. So history, you know, history doesn't lie. So anyway, <laughs> it, it kind of made me feel good. No, it, it definitely made me feel good. And I, I've enjoyed racing. And the coming house. from Lisa too, you know, it's someone you respect and really admire. Yeah, and, sure, of course. And, and you know, she's so positive, and for her to tell Michael that was really nice. Yeah. So Amanda, what's up for you next? Uh, I'm doing Augusta, Georgia, um, not this weekend, but next weekend. And then, two days later, Michael and I fly over to Kona, and I'll be doing a nice little training block there. And um, we'll be both racing November 4th at ITU World's Long Course. And then at the end of the year, I'd like to finish it up with a marathon. I'd like to try something different, um, focus on something new, and fun. Well, good luck to both of you. For more information about Michael and Amanda, check out their race reports and blogs at michaellovato.com and amandalovato.com.